Hello everybody. In this lesson, I will teach you how to work out the equation of the least squares regression line. This is lesson two of five. The equation of the least squares regression line is y is equal to a plus bx. And you will see it's very similar to a normal straight line y is equal to mx plus c. m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. So when you go to the least squares regression line, then a is the y-intercept and b represents the gradient. The regression line will always pass through the mean point of the data, x bar, y bar. The mean point and the regression line's equation are found by using a calculator. The calculator steps will follow on the next slide using an example. Example 1. The table compares the number of hours spent studying by seven mathematics learners and their performance in a test. And then you find a table. So the first row, there's learners number one to seven, and then there's hours studying, and then their corresponding marks as a percentage. Question one, calculate the equation of the line of best fit, or sometimes referred to as the least squares regression line. And that will follow on the next slide. So what we will do is we will put our calculator in stats mode. Therefore, we will start by pressing mode, number two, stat, and then number two, A plus BX. Then we will enter the data. The first column, one equals, three equals, five equals, 6 equals 8 equals 10 equals 11 equals. Then we will go to the next column for the y values. We start with 35 equals 55 equals 60 equals 65 equals 78 equals 70 equals 80 equals. Then we will press AC and then we will do shift 1 and then we will choose number 5, regression. Then number 1 is A's value and equals and our A value is 38,79. Then AC, shift 1, 5 for regression, and number 2 for B's value, equals. And our B value is 3,89. Therefore, the equation of the line of best fit will be y is equal to a plus b x. There's the steps on the right hand side if you want to refer back to them later on. a's value was 38,79. We calculated that. b was 3,89. Therefore, our equation will be y is 38,8 plus 3,9 x. The second question wants us to represent the data in a scatter plot and draw the line of best fit. Now, to do that, we need the calculator, and there's only two points that we will investigate there. The first point will be the y-intercept, which you find from the equation of the line of best fit, and then there's this other point, the mean point, x bar y bar and then once you know the two points you will join them and then there's your line of best fit 
So in the next uh, slide, I will explain how to do this with your calculator. Now on this slide, I will explain how to find the mean point. Let's see, there's the steps and here's the calculator. So we will start by pressing a, a C and then shift number one for stats. Then number four for ver, and then we choose number two equals, that's X bar. And then a C again, shift one for stats and then number four for ver and then we choose number five y bar and then there's your value of your mean point now we can do number two represent the data in a scatter plot and draw the line of best fit so already there you can see the red dot that's your y intercept the 38 comma something and then also the blue dot is your mean point now let's plot the graph quickly the first coordinate will be the point 135 355 560 665 878 10 70 and then in flew the equation of the least squares regression line and then there's the mean point 6,28 and 63,28 and all we have to do is to join the mean point and the y-intercept and there's your line of best fit. Now the next question says, if a learner studied for seven hours, predict his marks. Now what you do is there's your equation of line of best fit. In X's place you substitute 7 and you calculate Y's value. Therefore if he studied for 7 hours his mark will be 66%. Question 4 says if a learner wants to obtain 100% how many hours should he study? Into your equation uh, of the line of best fit. Now in Y's place you will substitute 100 and we will calculate X. So 38,8 walks across, 61,2 is equal to 3,9 X. We will divide away the 3,9 both sides and the answer 15,69. Therefore if he studies for around 16 hours he will obtain 100%. Let's do another example. During the month of June, patients visited a number of medical facilities for treatment. The table shows the number of patients treated on certain days during the month of June. So then there you find the dates, 3, 5, 8, etc., and then the number of patients treated, 270, 275, etc. Question 1. Calculate the equation of the least squares regression line. Now, let's do it together. We are looking for the equation and in the form y is equal to a plus bx. Mode to stat. And then you choose number 2, A plus BX. Then we enter the data. So I suggest that you pause the video and input your data quickly. Then you press AC, shift 1 stat. 5 or 7 for regression, depending on your calculator. And then you choose number 1, A equals. And then your answer should be 161,24. AC, shift one stat. Number five or seven for regression. And then two B equals. And then your B value will be 26,9. Therefore, the equation of the least squares regression line 
is y is equal to 161,24 plus 26,9x. Question 2 wants us to represent the data in a scatter plot and draw the least squares regression line. Now, first of all, let's quickly plot the points. So the first one already flew in 3, 270, 5, 275, 8, 376, 12, 420, 15, 602, 19, 684, 22 and 800, 26 and 820. Then we also need the equation of the least squares regression line since we want the y-intercept, this 161,24. We'll deal with it now. Uh, the other point we need is the mean point. So there's the steps. I suggest you pause the video and quickly calculate them. So I calculated them for you x bar, the x coordinate of the mean point, 13,75, and y bar, 530,875. Then the blue dot there, that's the mean point, and then we know that the y intercept must be 161,24. So that's the red dot over there. We join the two points and in flew the least squares regression line. Before we continue, have you subscribed yet? And you can also visit my website, onlinemats.co.za. Also feel free to leave a comment or like my video. Let's continue with the examples. Question 3. Estimate how many patients have been treated on the 24th of June. Again, there's your equation of your line of best fit or your least squares regression line. And then in X's place, you substitute 24 when you work it out, more or less 807 patients. Question 4 says, the statistics gathered for Youth Day, the 16th of June, was the point 16 and 102. Comment on this point and justify your answer. Now this point is an outlier. Because the 16th is a public holiday, some of the medical facilities could have been closed. In the next lesson, I will teach you correlation. Click on the video in the left hand corner to take you to that lesson.